Is it the best time to record? No, it's not. Is it the optimum time to record? No, it's not. Do those things mean the same thing? Yes, they do, and that's why I'm recording. Hey guys, Kim Finn here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Dawn Souls. Uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to explain something. Basically, the way you get through this floor is you start off by talking to this mermaid, and she'll tell you where another mermaid is, and that'll lead to another clue, and that'll lead to another clue. I'm skipping all that. <clears throat> because... I think that if I do, I can actually get two bosses in in this video, which would be awesome. So all I have to do is talk to this mermaid, and then I go through here and make it look like I'm leaving, and then, here we go. At long last, the ultimate sword is mine! Now, I can finally go home! Hey, where did you come from? Oh. You mean, you were looking for Excalibur 2? We already have it, actually, so, um, don't know what you're talking about there, but, yeah. How rude of me. I mean, the four of you came all this way. Of course I'll let you have the sword, but we already have the sword. I'd say you've been hitting the Oxy a little bit too hard if you believe that. Now, let's see how you handle me, and by me, I mean Gilgamesh, and by handle, I mean die! This is Gilgamesh, the legendary warrior who has appeared in multiple Final Fantasy games, and has been the same guy every time. He is a interdimensional cr being of awesome swordsness. Great English. I speak English good. Anyway, Gilgamesh has three main methods of attack. He will... Well, actually only two main methods of attack, but he has three things he can do. Sometimes he'll cast Protect, other times he'll um, use a regular attack, and sometimes he'll use his Excalibur attack, which is uh, or which is where he use a, or uses a knockoff of Excalibur to do one damage. It sucks, it's his weakest attack, he sometimes randomly does it, because Gilgamesh is on a constant quest to find Excalibur, and never finds the real thing. He always finds a ripoff. Is he a sap? Yes, he is. Do I feel bad for him? No. Looks like he's leading off with Protect. Pretty standard, but it doesn't work for him anyway, because it's broken when enemies use it, so... Nothing to worry about there. I think I'll just cast for Terra again because I found out that that spell can also stack. I thought Temper was the only thing that could, but apparently for Terra and Invisera can both also stack, so that's useful. Actually, it's really useful, so don't let that tone of voice throw you off. Uh, Giant's Gloves. Haste. Patera! Now he can barely hurt us at all if this goes through. Of course, really, I seem to have really lucky fights with this guy anyway. Sometimes he's actually kind of dangerous, other times he's really simple. And there's Excalibur! Otherwise known as Excalibur, it is fool's gold of a weapon. <laughs> it also appears in multiple Final Fantasy games, and sometimes you can even use it. And its stats are actually good, but it has the added effect of only doing one damage. So, if you hit the optimum button, you'll equip it, but it sucks. It sucks like a vacuum set to high. <laughs> oh boy. Me and my analogies. Attack! And down goes Gilgamesh. He's not too powerful as long as you know what you're doing. And he drops the Genji Gloves, which are useless, because he'd have to take off the Protect Rings to use them. And I don't want to do that. And now, we're on the 6th floor of the Ice Ring Grotto, which is, well, it's not always the 6th floor is like this, but this one is like this. Basically, you have to check the doors that are actually above the water to try to find your way out, and eventually you'll find a way out. It's randomized, so even I don't know where it is. Like, w one time it was right where I went to right there, other times it was other places, so... You're just gonna have to search on your own... ledger, I suppose. Um... Yeah. We're getting into some fun floors soon, though, so I won't be as stra sh bleh, strapped for commentary. There we go. Lifespring Grotto 7 floor. Uh, not much to say here. 
And I really don't care too much about treasure, but I'll grab this one and be on my merry way because there are the stairs. Spider silk, not worth my time really, but whatever. So yeah. Uh, eighth floor is also not interesting, but I remember having a bit more trouble finding my way out here. Still, not too much to worry about, and I'm fairly certain that I will be able to make it to the floor with the next boss. So I shall move onward, and be on my merry way. For I, um, I lost what I was going to say there. I'll have more to talk about on other floors, trust me. Let's see, stairs? No stairs? Curses. Meh. Could be worse. It could be playing deal or no deal. You know, have like a million dollars or one cent on the line and be all like, Oh man, what do I do? What do I do, man? I like deal or no deal. It's a good show. I actually have a home version of it. <laughs> it's broken now. But here I am talking about television because I have nothing else to talk about. Again. There is the stairs. And now we're on the dancer floor. None of the dancers have anything important to say, so just try to work your way past them and get them to dance other weird patterns of dancing. I'm actually pretty certain that the dancers are can't or or like I mean they appear in multiple Final Fantasy games, but like their first actual appearance was in Final Fantasy 3, which makes it weird. But I think these ones are actually a cameo to the dances that were in Final Fantasy 5, considering the bosses of this place are from Final Fantasy 5. <laughs> and oh boy, I'm looking forward to actually doing Final Fantasy 5. I recently started playing a J2E, you know. I was originally planning on doing the uh, uh, Game Boy Advance version of it, but provided I can get this recording software to work the way I want it to, I will definitely be doing a SNES J2E instead. Oh boy. <laughs> because that's like one of the most, one of the more censored games that came through Square Enix Incorporated to us in America. <laughs> but regardless. The tenth floor. Where is another boss slaying still? Who calls us interlopers and challenges us to a fight? This is Atomos. The interdimensional mouth thing. His mouth is a wormhole. Sometimes he will attempt to suck you through the wormhole. Don't worry though, it wasn't made by an actual worm. <laughs> uh, I'm not funny at all. <clears throat> but regardless. He has negligible physical damage, so you won't need to put Patera, but I would heavily recommend ding or heavily <laughs> can't talk today. Heavily recommend doubling up on your uh white robe invisera. I'm probably gonna have to push the time for this fight because it is kinda long. He has ten thousand or thirteen thousand rather HP. I keep on wanting to say ten thousand three hundred when I say that. I don't know why. It's just easier to say. 13,000 is weird coming from my mouth. And I can actually layer Invisera also, so I can do that. Have the monk use the gloves of gloviness and use the temper of angriness, followed by the healing of healingness. Oh boy, I'm doing that again, aren't I? <laughs> But the worst thing this guy can do is use the death of instantaneous. <laughs> See what I did there? Because I don't. I've already explained that these guys are from Final Fantasy V, right? Well, yeah, of course I did. I just did in this episode. Again. Oh, come on! You're kidding, right? That that did that just happen? Blah 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 blah. I can't talk. Jeez, Louise on lemonies. That's not a good catchphrase. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I should think of something else. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but it's too late because I don't have rewind on this thing. Oh well. I can bring back the knights in the next round. Oh, 
That's also something he can do, but it's not too bad, especially not compared to his instant death. Jeez Louise on Walter Street. No, that sounds lame too. <laughs> I can't think of good catchphrases anymore. Craptastic noodles was the best thing. I should have just said that. What am I stupid? What are you stupid? Ah boy. But there I go making more references I really shouldn't be making. <laughs> ah boy. He shouldn't last much longer though. Atmos is kind of a pushover in the long run. I mean, other than Wormhole and Comet, he really can't do much to you. Of course, he only has three attacks, so that's kind of saying nothing, but shut up. I'll say however little I want to say. It's my money and I want it now. I should really get paid for advertising, I swear. And he should die in the next round. There we go! And that's the end of Atmos. And with that, I think I'm going to wrap up this video after collecting the Judgment Staff, which will cast Holy when used as an item. So until next time, everyone, I've been Kinfin. Um, wait, I forgot to say something. Real quick. Be sure to thumbs up my video in the comments, that way it's easier- or er, not in the comments, but be sure to thumbs up the video, that way it's easier for other people to find, you know? Help me out and such, gets me more attention. And until next time, I've been Kinfin, I took out two bosses in one video, which makes me feel good, and I'll see you guys next time.